Welcome back to Living 808. Offsetting the cost of transportation while decreasing your carbon footprint. Electric vehicles are the future. And John went to talk to our friends at Revolution to learn more. Been seeing a lot more EVs on the road, even Cybertruck from Tesla. What does that all mean? Well, we're here with Eric Carlson at Revolution. Thanks for having us down. Appreciate it. Yeah, thanks um, for coming. Good I, to see you. I know, but I, and I've been seeing a lot of the EVs. I mean, I, even the Cybertrucks. It's crazy to see that many on the road now. Yeah, I've seen the, the, the Cybertrucks, the Rivians. Um, in fact, some of the more traditional manufacturers are starting to come out with their electric vehicles. Um, we've seen adoption of about 30% year over year in the amount of electric vehicles that are on our roads today. And that's one of the reasons why we're here at Revolution, because you guys can actually help offset the costs of someone that owns EV and solar. That's right. Um, we've been doing this all the way back since 2012, when Nissan came out with their all-electric Leaf. I don't know if you remember yeah, those, yeah. but Revolution had about four of them, and we were driving them around. But we've been helping people all the way back then. And as more manufacturers and more electric vehicles come on the market, we've helped somewhere around 3,000, 4,000 people offset their transportation costs and their home costs, electricity costs with solar energy. All right, let's start with somebody who's starting fresh. No solar, no batteries, but they're thinking about getting an EV. Maybe they have just purchased it. What do they need? Yeah, so there's a couple of things they need to take in consideration, and we'll help assess that. So what type of vehicle are they getting? What is their mileage? You know, how often are they driving per day? And then uh, available roof space um, if they want to also offset their home electrical use. Um, and then also we're gonna talk about the hardware. Where, where are we gonna put the car charging station? You need one of those. Um, so there's a, a number of things that we do. We have a whole checklist of, of what our sales people do and then our site managers to ensure just a fluid installation for our clients. The second type of customer is someone who already has, say, solar. Maybe they even have a battery. What do you do then? Yeah, so we're gonna meet with them um, and we're gonna determine do they, how much are they producing? Do they, are, is their system already producing both their current household needs and then the addition of an electric vehicle? Chances are probably not. We probably met with them originally to offset their home electrical use. Now they're adding a, a, an electric vehicle which is gonna require more electricity. So we need to um, take a look at the home and see is there available roof space to add more panels to the system? What type of uh, equipment do they currently have? Maybe we take it off and replace it with more powerful uh, solar panels so that it's the same amount of roof space, but it's just producing more power. So now they can offset both their home usage and their transportation costs. So there's a number of factors. Again, we have a checklist for that, for those that have solar that are looking to add an electric vehicle, and we just walk them down that whole process and, and get them to a point, hopefully, where they're offsetting 100% of their transportation costs and their household energy uh, demand. All of this could cost a homeowner money, but they're always looking for a chance to maybe get some of that back. Uh, there are still tax credits. Yeah, there's still tax credits for the solar system. There's tax credits for electric vehicles as well. So whether you're in that first bucket where you're starting from scratch, you're gonna get the state and federal tax credits for your solar system, as well as the um, electric vehicle tax credit. And then if you're looking to add on to your existing system, those tax credits apply. And then in the long run, we know that electric vehicle ownership is a lot cheaper than our standard internal combustion engine. So on average, electric vehicle owners spend 60% less on their transportation costs alone. And then when you factor in service and maintenance, because you're removing so much uh, uh, of the internal, uh, all the different parts from a, a combustion engine, you don't have those in electric vehicles. So maintenance, your service and maintenance costs are drastically lower. So you're saving thousands and thousands of dollars over the life of an electric vehicle versus a standard uh, internal combustion engine vehicle. So all that's really left is how do we come see you and make an appointment? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, we'd love for people to come and see us. They can come down here to Salt at our Kakaako. In fact, we'll, we'll be having one of our, the electric vehicle charging stations on, uh, added to our lineup here shortly. Um, they can visit us online at revolution.com. 
or call us at 748-8888. I'd suggest coming down, having a good conversation, figuring it all out, and make your appointment. Thanks, Ed. Yeah, right it. on. Thank you. Easy as that. Quick chat with those guys. They're the pros, um, and they'll just set you all up. It's cool how they can figure out just how much you need to both offset the cost of the electric vehicle mm -hmm. and the house. It's a pro. It's a, a formula, and they can, they got that thing down pat. Seriously, they're awesome. Perfect. I love having those kind of geeky conversations with them. Right? It's so fun. <laughs> yeah, we really appreciate them. And, of course, all their details will be on our website. Yeah. But check them out. I mean, that's something that a lot of, I mean, already so many people have yeah. solar in the state. Yeah, yeah, There's yeah. a lot more of us to go. Yep, and I'm still working on mine. So there you go. Wait, you have? You I have, have solar, but okay. I'm working on the battery and then maybe. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Building it up. Yeah. Love it. And then next up, EV. Maybe, yep. There yep. we go. Love to hear it. Do my